All right, welcome back. Today I'm back working on my 300ZX. As you can see, I pretty thoroughly cleaned and undusted my very dusty garage. And that's because today I'm gonna to attempt to paint my car, or at least half of my car anyway. So to bring you up to speed on the project, I rescued this thing from someone's side yard in East LA after years of neglect. I undid some serious wiring, electrical hackery. I added a few modern touches. I fixed the typical 300ZX failure points. I swapped it from an automatic to manual. I gave the engine a complete tune-up and took it to the drag strip to race my 70 Challenger. Whew. <laughs> so now I'm ready to start working on sort of the final phase of this restoration, making the exterior look better on this thing. In the last episode, I came up on a new hatch after discovering rust in my replacement hatch for my already rusty original hatch. I, I, I sanded that thing down, removed my bumpers and sanded those as well. I got my paint supplies ready. And my first step today is to get this garage completely sealed off with plastic and then the car all masked off and ready for paint. All right, let's get started. All right, we're, we're getting pretty close here. I have uh, all of my parts in here except the rear hatch. So I have the uh, I have the T-tops here all masked off. I have both bumpers in here, uh, just barely. I, <laughs> I ran out of room real quickly, I didn't realize. I thought I had like way more than enough room, but um, it's actually gonna be pretty crowded in here. Um, but I think I should be able to get around everything, so I think we're looking okay. I, I might have to move that guy crossways. Uh, we'll see about that. And I have my air filter set up right there. So that's gonna be my double filter plus a, a thing I'll be able to regulate the pressure with. So that's um, pretty convenient to have that right there. And I have my gun all hooked up with hopefully enough uh, hose. I think that should be that should be okay. And I did get the, I got a little uh, extension here so I can put the filter in there as well. So next I want to set up my vent fan. So I think I'm gonna put a couple of filters on this guy to filter out the dust from the outside. Uh, but I definitely do want good airflow. So I think I might actually uh, pop the cork in the garage a little bit too, so we can get airflow out of here. Um, because I know that uh, obviously I will have a respirator on, but it's still probably a good idea to uh, vent as much out as possible. And I know that uh, paint fumes can be explosive. So <laughs> that's definitely a reason to um, keep this thing ventilated as well. All right, uh, let's get that thing all sealed off. Uh, you know what, actually, shoot, uh, I should probably bring that thing in first. Okay, I'm gonna bring that thing in first, and then we're gonna install this guy, and then I should be just about ready to go. All right, you know, uh, before I completely seal this thing off, I do wanna hit this thing with a little bit of primer. 
I'm not gonna prime everything on the car. I might do a light coat on all of this white because that way I'll be able to do fewer coats. But um, you know, there's only a few little like low points here. And I did uh, buy some black high build primer. Um, I know that uh, rattle can primer is not the best way and you're supposed to get like another paint gun and do all that stuff. But I think that depends on the type of uh, rattle can. And from what I can tell, this is a non lacquer primer. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I was assured at the paint shop that this would be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I, hopefully this isn't the big mistake I make. I think it'll be okay. And I'm gonna use very little of this. So, you know, just for spots like where the plastic's showing through and, you know, a little bit of build on this guy right here. I'll sand this stuff down afterwards and then we'll uh, lay on that first coat of black paint. All right, I went ahead and hit everything with this uh, wax and grease remover. And I'll probably hit it again before I paint, um, but I think that should be good now for just some, uh, some spots of primer and uh, we'll let that dry and then we'll get ready. All right, I've got this thing fully, fully sealed now. It's pretty crazy. Some floor to ceiling. This is like full uh, Dexter status here. All right, so uh, I think this stuff is just about dry. There might be a few little spots I wanna try and sand down, um, but otherwise I think we're very, very close to uh, finally putting on this first coat of paint. All right, so uh, very last thing, vent fan with the filters, then I'll mix up this paint, fire up the air compressor. You know, uh, the filler primer just didn't really take care of this uh, a weird little like sort of crack here. So I know it's gonna bum me out if I leave that. So I uh, grabbed some Bondo that I had from like an old, old project. Uh, I hope this stuff is still good because I'm gonna try and uh, just Bondo this really quick. I might try and do this little tiny spot. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a little tiny uh, chip there as well. So let me mix some of this stuff up real quick and uh, we'll see if we can fix that. All right, we'll let that uh, dry for about 30 minutes and we'll sand this stuff down and then, <laughs> then I'll be ready to paint. I think it's time. Let's uh, let's get this stuff mixed up. We've got our paint here, uh, activator hardener, I think, and uh, this would be the 
kind of like the paint thinner reducer or whatever. So the recipe is four, one to two. So four parts paint, one part hardener, and two parts thinner. All right, I got my, uh, got my cameras in plastic bags. Paint's all mixed up and uh, in the gun. Just gotta throw on my suit, put on my respirator, ready to go. All right, well, it's the next day and uh, I had some problems. <laughs> now, you know, some of the stuff seemed to come out very well um, and a lot of it did not come out very good at all. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest bummer I think was when I was trying to leave the garage last night after painting, the plastic uh, came undone and it kind of just like a domino fell and actually landed on this uh, rear bumper here um, and on the hatch as well. So if you look here, you can see some ripples I did uh, peel off the plastic and then hit it with another pretty thick coat of paint um, to see if I could kind of save it, but but there's definitely some texture in there. I'm not sure how much of that I'll be able to like sand out or buff out. I guess we'll have to see. I also had some pretty serious issues with bubbling here on this guy or whatever these, you know, like, I don't know if those are fish eyes or what, but there's definitely a lot of bubbles on the rear hatch in particular. Um, which is strange because other parts of the car didn't really have that problem. And, you know, I primed them the same and uh, had the same dry times. And of course I was painting it with the same paint. So, you know, I guess if I had to choose a part 
to really not <laughs> to not uh, come out well. I would probably pick the hatch uh, just because I, I can replace this later, you know. Maybe I'll be able to find a black hatch for this guy at some point, but luckily the car itself did actually come out pretty good. I mean, as you can see right now, it's really very smooth and uh, not a lot of orange peel. Um, yeah, it's pretty much like glass, actually. It's, it's incredible. Um, same with the front here. Came out very, very nice. A pillar is okay. T-tops look great. And uh, this front bumper actually looks pretty darn good too. We'll see after I uh, wet sand it and buff it, but whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, I won't call it a disaster, but <laughs> you know, I was so frustrated with this that I kind of just let my paint gun sit and I didn't clean it up. Um, I used pretty much all of my paint, so I don't know if I'm gonna try and repaint any of this. Um, all right, well. Uh, it's kind of a rainy day today, so probably not ideal for drying, but this stuff all seems pretty dry to the touch. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take off all this plastic and try and get my garage back to somewhat normal. And uh, I was expecting this to be difficult, but I think I might have underestimated it just a little bit. We'll give it like maybe a few days or a week to dry and to cure, and uh, we'll see what we're dealing with.